Fox 9 News at 9. Hi there, thanks for joining us tonight. A car drives straight through the front door of a St. Paul store, creating fears of a building collapse today. Now, luckily, that didn't happen, but the damage has led to some structural issues. Fox 9's Sarah Danik is live outside West 7th and Leach Street for us tonight. Sarah? Yeah, Karen, you can see behind me just how much damage was done to this building today here on West 7th. It's 130 years old, and luckily tonight it's still standing. Also, good news no one was injured in all of this, but as you can see, there's a sign behind me. The bottom part, the store scout, is condemned, and two apartments on the second and third floor also condemned, and it's not clear when those folks are going to, going to be allowed back in. Well, I was taking out trash to our dumpster literally across the street, heard the crash. No screeching of tires, anything. It just sounded like an earthquake, like something, boom. And I uh, looked over and saw the car in the front of the building. When a car crashes through one of St. Paul's historic buildings, news travels fast. I was uh, quite concerned about it. It's one of our uh, most uh, interesting and historic structures in our entire neighborhood here. So uh, very concerned about it. The accident happened just after 11 a.m. Friday. And while these types of calls aren't rare for the city, this one was different. Vehicle had struck the building. It hit one of the uh, support columns for the building, uh, compromising the st structural integrity of the building. Engineers, building inspectors, police, and fire crews quickly responded. The building was evacuated. Those on scene stabilized it above and below ground to make sure it didn't collapse once the car was removed. Stable as it is, but uh, what's going to change is the vehicle's going to move. And anytime there's a shift or movement, uh, there's a potential for collapse. The work slow and steady. You don't want to lose, you know, a landmark like this because you are unwilling to take a few minutes to do it right. Then it was time for the car to be pulled out. And what remains is a badly damaged building. It's really crazy to see in our neighborhood. But still standing after 130 years. Never had a car in the front door of a building. And I hope I never have another one. Now, the fire department tells us they're not sure how long parts of this building will be condemned, but it could be a few weeks or months to get everything fixed up and safe again. Meanwhile, the St. Paul Police Department tells me the man responsible for this is 54 years old. He was not under the influence of drugs or alcohol when this happened this morning, but he was ticketed with failure to drive with due care. We are live in St. Paul tonight. Sarah Danik, Fox 9.